Yeah, it's first move slowly. What you'll see is there's two motions. It looks really simple, but the other arm, the left arm pulls away. It's called sciabiki, which actually makes the blade come out faster. Uh, uh, it makes it much easier. Now, right from this position, on the next movement where he brings the blade up, you'll see how quickly the tip, what's called a kisaki, gets to its next destination versus looping. And this is the most important cut to the ocean, just straight down. And then imagine now your blood has a mess on it, your blade, and now the kid, Chiburi, is the wiping of it. And then the noto back, which is actually, with a live blade, is very, you know, it's very dangerous, as you can see, you have a good chance of cutting. So, my sonwich. If you listen closely, you'll hear the blade make a noise, and that's called hasuji. And a good hasuji is a sign that the, the cut is pure, which means the front of the blade is directly behind the back of the blade, which means the cut is going to have the most penetration. Thank you, sir. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's a, a number of yaido kata, which are essentially versions of that. They all have those six parts in them. So uh, a fun little game you can play with yourself and see if you can identify them as I do them. Now what I've done next is I've put together a little bit of a sequence of a number of these different kata put together. So um, imagining, uh, if you will, a uh, ninja attack from a movie. <laughs> and they keep jumping out of the shadows when I think I'm done, and so I have to continue to dispatch them. So I will provide the sword work. Your imagination should provide the ninjas. <laughs> <laughs>